Hey boys and girls. So today I'm gonna go over some of the homework from module four, lesson one. And it starts off by having us complete each more or less than statement. Uh, I'm not gonna do all of them because that would take a while. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna skip A through D and start at E. 58 is 10 more than this number. So when I get these ones, I kind of think about them backwards. Well, if 58 is 10 more than this number, that means this number is going to be 10 less than 58. So if I want to do 10 less than 58, I'd have five tens. I'd take a 10 away, four tens, and I'd still have eight ones. And then I read it again to make sure that it makes sense. 58 is 10 more than 48. Well, that's true because 58 has five tenths and 48 only has four, so it is 10 more. 29 is one less than this number. Well, once again, I kind of have to think about this backwards. If 29 is one less than this, then this has to be one more than 29. Well, if I'm counting and I want count one more than 29, it would be 30. And then I like to read it back and make sure it makes sense. 29 is one less than 30. That is true. All right, let's go to I. 49 is blank than 50. So we're trying to figure out, is it one more, one less? or 10 more or 10 less. Well, 49 is, well, it's not more than 50, so it has to be less, but how much less? Hmm, well, 10 less would be 40, and that's not a 40, so let's think. 49 is one less than 50, because if we were counting up to 50, 49 would be the number right before we get to 50, which means it's one less than it. 32 is blank than 22. So first let's think, well, is 32 more or less? 32 is more than 22. And now let's think, how much more? Well, if I'm looking at 22, one more would be 23. Oh, that doesn't say 23. What would be 10 more? So if I had two tens and I added another 10, that would give me three tens, two ones. All right, and that's 32. So 32 is 10 more than 22. All right, for the next section, it says complete each pattern and write the rule. So the rule is either going to be plus one, minus one, plus 10, or minus 10. That's what they mean when it says the rule. All right, so it goes from 44 to 45. Well, my tens place has stayed the same, so it can't be a plus or minus 10 because the tens are the same. My four ones now went up to five ones. It went up by one. So my rule is plus one. So that means to figure out these numbers, I just need to add one more. So 45 plus one is 46, and 46 plus one is 47. All right, let's go down to the bottom. So first let's figure out what the rule is. It starts at 41, it goes two more numbers, and now we're at 38 and 37. So my numbers have gone down which means this is gonna be a subtraction rule. Now let's figure out how much they're subtracting by. All right, well, I'm gonna start by subtracting tens, and I'm gonna write these numbers underneath and see if they match up. If they match up, then I know they're right and I can fill them in. If they don't match up, then I need to try a different number. All right, so if I have 41 and I take away a 10, I'd have 31. If I take away another 10, I'd have 21. If I take away another 10, I'd have 11. And if I take another 10, I'd have a one. Well, 
these numbers don't match up, so it can't be minus 10. So let's try minus 1. 41 minus 1 is 40. 40 minus 1 is 39. 39 minus 1 is 38. And 38 minus 1 is 37. And my numbers match up, so I can fill them in. So my rule was minus 1. All right, let's look at the second page. Label each statement as true or false. So let's go ahead and do C. 10 less than 89 is the same as 1 less than 90. So I need to figure out what these are in order to figure out if they're the same. 10 less than 89. So I'm going to go to my tens place and I'm going to take a 10 away. If I have eight tens and I take a 10 away, now I'll have seven tens and I'll still have nine ones. So 10 less than 89 is 79. Let's go to one less than 90. All right, well, if I want to take a one away, but there are no ones in 90. So a good way to think about this is to think as if you're counting to 90. What's the number you hit right before 90? So if I'm thinking of like 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. The number right before 90 was 89. So let's see, is 79 and 89 the same? No. So this one would be false. All right, and the last section is has a chart and it says below is a chart of balloons at the county fair. And it tells you the color of the balloons, red, yellow, green, blue, and pink, and then the number of balloons. But blue and pink have been left off. So you need to use this, these things down here to figure out the number of balloons. The fair has one more blue than red balloon. Well, there's gonna be one more blue than red, which means I need to look at my red and add one more. 59 plus one gives me 60. All right, so I answered the one for that. This one says there are 10 fewer pink than yellow balloons. All right, so to figure out pink, I need to do 10 fewer than the yellow. So yellow is 61, I need to subtract 10 from 61. Well, I have six tens. If I take a 10 away, I'd have five tens, and I still have one one. So there is 51 pink balloons. All right, then it says, are there more blue or pink balloons? That's something you can figure out on your own by looking at your chart. If one red balloon pops and 10 red balloons fly away, how many red balloons are left? Use the arrow way to show your work. So I do wanna show you this one because it is the first time we've used arrow way on our homework. So we're gonna first find out how many red balloons there are. There are 59. So we're gonna start with 59. All right, it says one red balloon pops. So I'm going to write an arrow. And to show that one has popped, I'm gonna put a minus one on the arrow. 59 minus one is 58. Now it says 10 red balloons fly away. So to show that we now have 10 less red balloons, I'm gonna do another arrow. And on top of this one, a minus 10. 58 minus 10 is 48. And this is what they meant by use the arrow way. All right, guys, hope that was helpful. See you tomorrow in class.